All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of three minus x is equal to 210. So to solve this, I wanna find the value of x. So I'm gonna first start by subtracting 210 on both sides. So now these two cancel out and I get x to the power of three minus x minus 210 is equal to zero. Now from here, <clears throat> I'm gonna rewrite this as x to the power of three minus x plus six minus 216 is equal to zero. So I rewrote negative 210 as six minus 216. So now the reason I did this is because I can reorder this as x to the power of three minus 216 minus x plus six is equal to zero. And I'm gonna group x to the power of three minus 216 together. Now 216 is the same thing as six to the power of three. So I get x to the power of three minus six to the power of three minus x plus six is equal to zero. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of three minus b to the power of three, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. In this case, a is x and b is six. So I get x minus six times x squared plus six x plus 36. And we can't forget that we have minus x minus six at the end. <clears throat> negative x plus six is the same thing as negative x minus six because you distribute the negative sign. So now from here, because both of these terms have x minus six in them, I'm gonna factor out x minus six. So I get x minus six times x squared plus six x plus 36 minus one is equal to zero. And this turns into x minus six times x squared plus six x plus 35 minus zero, or sorry, is equal to zero. So now from here, I get two equations. I get x minus six is equal to zero and x squared plus six x plus 35 is equal to zero. So x minus six equals zero. For this, I can add six on both sides. So I get x is equal to six. And this is one solution of x. <clears throat> now for x squared plus six x plus 35 equals zero. To solve this, I can use the quadratic formula which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is one, b is six, and c is 35. So I get x equals negative six plus or minus the square root of six squared, which is 36, minus four times a, which is one times c, which is 35, all over two a, so two times one. And this is equal to negative six plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 140. And 36 minus 140, well, that's gonna be a negative number. And you can't take the square root of a negative number. So, meaning there's no real solutions to this. There are imaginary solutions, but there are no real solutions with this. So x equals six is our only real solution to this equation. If you like the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tell and share this with any of your friends and family. And please make sure to check out other videos on the channel. Thank you.